Welcome to Famous Fortunes. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you so much to all my new subscribers that have come in. Uh, I really appreciate you showing your uh, uh, your uh, interest in the channel. Let's say that showing your interest in the channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks for the vote of confidence. I am looking for a thousand subscribers uh, to get things moving on my channel. Uh, so appreciate you joining me. Uh, if you have questions or comments or if you have questions for future videos just drop them into the comments and there's a really good chance that i'll do the ones that I, i'll do definitely i'll definitely do the ones that i like for sure uh so so yeah if you have questions for future videos if there's topics you want to know more about uh drop them into the comments uh and we'll, we'll see how we go uh, today we are going to have a look at the relationship between Meghan markle and Kate Middleton. So this uh, is going to be a great follow-on video from Famous Fortunes episode 14, where we looked at the relationship between Prince William and Prince Harry, and a lot of interesting, a lot of interesting information came out of those videos, or that video and those readings, shall I say. So it's going to be very interesting to see what uh, what comes out of the relationship between these two. Uh, I'll start with a general look at the relationship and then we're going to, we're going to nail down into some more, uh, we're, we're going to drill down and we're going to really look at, uh, at this in some detail. So we're going to do a few readings on this. We'll see, we'll see how many, we'll see how, what unfolds and where it takes us. Um, I haven't done readings on this topic, um, for myself. So this is going to be interesting to me to see what comes out. I have no expectations here, so let's let's get right into it. I have my trusty tarot deck that I use. This is my personal deck, and I've used this deck for many years. You can see it's this has done many a reading on this deck, uh, and it was gifted to me actually. So there you go. A little bit of information about the deck. If you watch my videos, it is the Albino Weight deck. We're going to pull five cards on... We're going to look at the relationship between Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle. And we're going to try and find the, the major energies in that relationship. Five cards to start with. Uh, so that's, that's what I'm doing. Oh, thanks for all the likes on the videos, guys. Uh, I haven't been asking for it, but... Uh, well, not recently, not that I can remember, but thanks so much for the likes. I really appreciate it. Thanks for the support. It's great to see you guys are liking the videos. Um, it has become a daily thing for me. Uh, I really love these videos. I really do. I do these readings myself, off camera. So I've done them for so long, and I just they're so interesting. I get into so many different topics, and you can you can generally get some really good information. So uh, don't be look any topics you can think of. Um, I'm gonna obviously stay away from people's well, not for, for people that aren't celebrities. I'm obviously gonna stay away from personal lives because that doesn't have a you know we're not all gonna be interested in you know that those sort of topics. But for for world events, celebrity readings. Damn, damn straight. Throw the, throw the questions into the comments. Um, I also enjoy esoteric topics. I enjoy kind of like X-Files topics, uh, ancient history, that kind of thing. Um, or the future. I enjoy looking into the future as well as the past. So I have a broad interest. Um, so... Keep that in mind when you're asking questions. I am just getting started, but for now, let's have a look at, at Megan and Kate's relationship. I'm just going to go quiet for a moment just while I finish this. I'll throw the cards around. All right, the cards are done. Let us begin. 
five cards it is. We're going to do the underlying energies as well, which I'll place on top just because of the camera angle. Let's have a look. We have here the five of wands, the four of cups, the seven of wands, Three of pen pentacles, pence, knight of pence. Underlying energy. We have here the knight of swords. Very, very different reading to William and Harry, very, very different reading. If you if you if you cast your mind back to Famous Fortunes fourteen, the the cards here were the cards were very different in that reading. This this is very this is a very different reading. So straight away there is it, it, absolutely an energy of. This isn't okay. So when I when I want to talk about these cards, I'm gonna say that none of this is. This isn't really based on like deception, or this isn't based on things that you know. Oh, okay, I'm saying this, but I really mean that, and all the rest of it. This is just outright. There is outright conflict between them. Uh, bickering, uh, bitchiness, conflict. There is a, a definite sense here that one wants to have it over the other one and this isn't a game of this isn't a game of equal footing between those two this is a game of this is like a competition between those two okay uh this is a competition between those two uh there is some interesting energies coming down here i'll get to that in a minute the, the knight of swords here re really represents uh this is communication that is not this is unpleasant communication between them. The way they talk to each other, the texting, you know, whatever it is, emails, it's just not pleasant. There's just there's some, there is some real, there's some real bitchiness going on here. No doubt about it. Uh, so be advised that's happening. It's definitely, there's it's just conflict from the start. This never went well from the beginning. Uh, it was a game of one up upmanship. Um, I'm not going to get into who's responsible for these things. Now, we're going to clarify that. I'm going to do another spread in a sec. So, hang tight. Uh, all I'm telling you is the energies that I'm seeing. There's an energy... There's energies of... It's almost like there's an energy... When it comes to the, the energy of pentacles, there is an energy of... I'm, I'm looking at this as some... Somewhat... <sighs> Can I say this? This is almost as if, when you pair it with this cup, with, with the four of cups here, it's almost as if they're not satisfied. There's there's a party here that's not satisfied with what they have, and it's like, oh, do I want this or do I want that? And maybe it's to do question mark. Maybe it's to do with husbands. <laughs> maybe it's to do with their husbands. You know, I'm just saying. There's a bit of that going on. There's a bit of. There's a bit of. There's discontent and there's not appreciating what they have. There's, I'm going to go, I'm going to put this in a word, envy. That's what I'm going to put this down as. I'll take my hand away. It's interrupting your view. Envy, discontent, not happy with the situation. Want to have it over the other pe person. Conflict, bitchiness, bad words spoken. This, you know, the vibe I get intuitively, as soon as these cards came out, I saw, like, you know, when you went to school and you're in, like, grade three, and there was, like, you know, the girls were being bitchy to each other, and it was all these little games that they would play, and, you know, the boys would be doing their thing in their own way, you know, trying to one-up each other and all the rest of it. They would have their own games, but the girls had a special way of doing it that the boys didn't have, vice versa, but particularly with the girls... I'm getting that intuitive energy here. This is pretty immature stuff. I'm not blaming anyone in particular. I'm just reading the general energies that are coming off the relationship. Can there be people that are to blame here? Absolutely. Absolutely. There could be 
Uh, we all know this, that, you know, sometimes you get a group of people, it just takes one person to cause uh, a bad time, right? So I'm not laying the blame on anyone in particular yet. We'll get to that, all right? Let's have a look at this Knight of Pentacles. I want to clarify this card. I want to see what this is all about. Yes, shuffle on camera. I'm not pulling the cards out of thin air. <coughs> Let's clarify. Knight of Pentacles. What is this referring to? It's a peculiar card to get. It's sort of... It, uh, it's worth clarifying, so that's what I'm going to do. Before I start just spouting off over it. What are we referring to with the Knight of Pentacles? Right. All right. We ready? Let's do it. So, Knight of Pentacles. Strength. Huh. Seven of Pentacles. So, this is the clarification. First of all, yeah, this relationship is really going nowhere fast. And it's taking... There's an element here of self-restraint required on behalf of, let's say, some of the parties involved in the relationship, one or more. There's a sense of real self-restraint needed to keep things uh, ticking over, to seeing what develops. Uh, not going anywhere fast. It's like, should we, should we do this? Should we not? Yeah sort of it's sort of another way of looking at this this is someone biding their time for money <laughs> all right let's have a look so let's let's move on to phase two of our reading which we are going to now look at what does Meghan Markle think of Kate Middleton on the left we're going to do a fork spread what does Kate Middleton think of Meghan Markle on the right we are going to have a look and we are going to get a better understanding of what the two think of each other. It'll be interesting to compare and contrast. So imagine you're sitting in my classroom today and you are my psychic students. The question is, let's compare and contrast the views of Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton on each other. How do they feel about each other? This is going to be the question of the day. This is what I am focusing on right now with you. Professor Famous Fortunes, here we are. The Famous Fortunes School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Have a look and see what we can see. Okay, let's look at the energy of the first card. <laughs> this, is, this is unreal. Seven of Pentacles. We just got that in the clarification of that Knight of Pentacles. It's actually come up again as a foundational card. This isn't the first time we've seen peculiar tarot things happen. Uh, I cast your mind back to Famous Fortunes 14. If you did not see that, check out the video. Let's have a look. This is Meghan Markle, what she thinks about Kate. Four of Pentacles. Four of Cups again. Cats cards come up again. Uh, and the Page of Cups. Right. You can see all this. See all this. All right. Let's get into Kate Middleton. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, that now that's an interesting uh, turn of events. So a large proportion of what we just saw in the reading before this is actually related to 
uh, Meghan Markle's feelings. So what I'm getting, like this is getting a bit in depth, but this is why we're here, right? So if you're still watching at this point, you want to get in depth. The long and short of this, a lot of that relationship really is M Meghan Markle is for the most part controlling the dynamic in that relationship and what she and where she wants to go with it and how she wants to act is sort of defining the fabric of their relationship. She is very much wanting to not assimilate with the royal family. She doesn't really want to have much to do with Kate Middleton in particular. Uh, that is echoed by Kate Middleton in terms of how she feels about Meghan Markle. She doesn't want anything to do with her at this stage. She is completely over Meghan Markle. For sure. Okay, she thought Meghan Markle was a force that... She thought, she thinks, Meghan Markle is a, an undermining force in her... In her life. That's how she looked at Meghan Markle. Interesting here, we have the King of Cups. Dare I say, the King is coming up again in this spread... I think Kate Middleton is well aware that, I mean, why would the king be coming in here? Because I think we can all answer the question, class. All right? Are you paying attention? Someone is interested in the king, and that has become a focus of Kate Middleton's thoughts. Okay? I think we saw, we, we saw hints of that, Famous Fortunes 14, uh, yeah, where I pointed that out. Back to Meghan Markle. 4-4, four, four, Page of Cups, if you look at the numerology, there is a... She wants... She's really... Uh, emotionally immature, for sure. She's emotionally immature, and I think she is... Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. It's emotional immaturity, the bit of selfishness happening here, distancing themselves, just... She is not seeing the... She's not seeing... She's seeing what she wants to see in the relationship. She is... She's seeing what she wants to see, so much so that it's become a bit of a fixation of hers to see it how she wants to see it. And, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's pretty, it's, this is really reeking of immaturity here. Um, I think Kate Middleton would appreciate the fact that she is not having to uh, really be involved with her too much at this stage. I think that's something that she's probably thankful for, uh, given these cards. Yeah, she doesn't, she doesn't look at her as a force for positive influence in her life, for sure. So there's that. Uh, please, yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Uh, if you've watched this video until this point, uh, you're awesome. So please go ahead and subscribe. I uh, really appreciate it. Um, questions for future videos in the comments. I can't say it enough. Um, there's no right or wrong questions. There's just questions.